Stated Clearly presents, what exactly is a gene? A gene is a special stretch of DNA in charge of building something. You might have heard that there's a blue-eyed gene, a freckle gene, or possibly even a gay gene, but single genes don't literally make things like eyeballs or freckles or sexual orientations. Genes make proteins. Those proteins then interact with each other and all sorts of chemicals inside the body to build things like eye pigments, freckles, and hormones. If you look closely at a strand of DNA, you won't actually see its genes. What you will see is that DNA is made of four different kinds of particles called nucleotides. Scientists have labeled the four different types of nucleotides A, C, T, and G. A gene is a specially arranged sequence of A's, C's, T's, and G's that act like written code. Nucleotides are organized to form messages in DNA for a cell to read, just like the letters of the alphabet are organized to form stories in a book for you to read. A single strand of human DNA contains thousands of genes. Some genes are only about 200 nucleotides long. Others are well over a million. The length and sequence of a gene determine the size and shape of the protein it builds. The size and shape of a protein determine the function that protein will have inside the body. Hemoglobin, for example, is a protein structure found in red blood cells. Its unique shape and size allow it to capture oxygen molecules when blood flows near the lungs and then release it later when blood flows near oxygen-starved tissues. Pepsin is a digestive protein. It breaks down food inside your stomach so it can be absorbed by the body. Keratin is a structural protein. Its unique shape and size allows it to link together with other keratin proteins to form hard structures like fingernails, claws, and beaks. A basic gene contains three main sections of code. The first stretch, called the promoter region, basically tells the cell, Hey, look at me, I'm a gene. Use me to make some proteins. It does this by attracting and repelling different chemicals. The promoter region works with these chemicals to determine how often, or if ever, the gene should be used within its mother cell. The second stretch of code, called the transcription unit, is the piece that actually tells the cell how to build proteins. A chemical structure called the polymerase runs across the transcription unit and builds a free-floating copy of the gene called RNA. The RNA then goes on to build proteins. The last stretch of code found on a gene is called the terminator. The name might sound a little malicious, but its purpose is simply to tell the cell that the gene has come to an end. It does this by derailing the polymerase. Even though genes are tiny, there's roughly 20,000 in each one of your cells, they are extremely powerful. Slight changes in genetic code can cause dramatic differences in the form and function of living creatures. Researchers have found, for example, that humans and chimps, as different as they are, share over 96% of their genetic code. And what does a beautiful swimsuit model have in common with the lowly fruit fly? Surprisingly, well over half of its genes. So just to sum things up a bit, what exactly is a gene? A gene is a special stretch of DNA, not the entire strand of DNA, just a segment, that codes for protein. The promoter region tells the cell how often or if ever the gene should be used. The transcription unit is what actually contains the protein building instructions. I'm John Perry, and that's Genes Stated Clearly. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure to give us a thumbs up on YouTube and share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter or wherever it is you happen to share stuff with your friends. Subscribe to us on YouTube if you want to see more videos. If you have any questions or comments, you can post those in the comment section on YouTube. We do read those, by the way. If you want to learn more about DNA and other cool stuff, check out our website at statedclearly.com. Till next time, stay curious.